Thank you for joining me today. I'm at the gorgeous Guadalupe State Park. I'm going to work on just a few stretches today. So wherever you are, if you find yourself on your hands and your knees, maybe allowing the wrists to be underneath the shoulders, and the knees to be underneath the hips. Let's start about shoulder width apart. We'll start with some easy cat cow stretching. So as you inhale, drop the heart down toward the earth, lifting the crown of the head and the tailbone, sending the gaze up. When you're ready, exhale, rounding the shoulders, drawing the navel to the spine, tilting the pelvic in. And then inhale. Exhale. You can always make an audible sound with the exhale. Inhale. Lifting to the crown, lifting to the tailbone. Exhale. And one more. Inhale here. I hope that you can hear the water. It sounds so amazing and relaxing. Go back into your neutral spine here. Now, if we'd like, we can go ahead and bring the knees forward. Sending the feet to one side, hips to the opposite. It's your practice. It doesn't have to be in a specific type of yoga. You can just be say, taking some time to do some beautiful stretches. I'm looking at my doggie. She's out of frame, but she's definitely here with me, always. We're going to take a moment, extend the feet all the way out. Drawing the right foot into the inner left thigh. And reaching the hands around the, hand, around the shin. Sitting up nice and tall. On your next exhale, ex just let the leg come all the way down. Inhale the left foot toward the inside of your right inner thigh. And then wrap the hands around the shin. Sitting up tall, lengthening to the spine. And when you're ready, exhale the left leg down. Taking a moment, drawing both feet, the soles of the feet toward each other, and bring your body into maybe just a diamond, allowing the hands to wrap around the outsides of your ankles. Taking a nice inhale, drawing the heels back toward the body, lifting through the heart, maybe sending the gaze up toward the side. When you're ready, go ahead and exhale the gaze back down. And seeing if you can forward fold and hinge your hips forward, allowing the knees to rest on the outside, maybe allowing the low back to really have some relief. You're wrapping the hands around the feet, dropping the head. And then inhaling the torso back up. It's a good video if you do a lot of sitting. A lot of people are at home working, maybe students sitting for a long period of time. Go ahead and reap the hands around the ankles again, drawing the heart all the way up, lifting to the heart. And when you're ready, exhale, forward fold. Nothing too fancy, just allowing the body some beautiful time of rest and respite, and maybe allowing some good stretching here. Inhale, send the torso up. Exhale, bring the knees up to the mat. Maybe you can draw the heels closer to the body, wrapping the hands, the arms around the shins, reaching for the elbows, lengthening through the spine, sitting up nice and tall. When you're ready, extend the left foot out first. And draw that right ankle over the left knee. Taking the left arm, reaching around, grabbing the right chin, dropping the right hand behind you. Sitting, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale. And as you exhale, send the gaze over the right shoulder, just to your edge. When we say edge in yoga, we mean to what feels good to you. Maybe a little bit beyond, not quite discomfort, but where it's, you're getting an actual stretch. You feel a little bit of difference in that motion. When you're ready, exhale the gaze back forward. Release the arm. 
Release the right foot down and inhale the left foot to the inside of the left or the right inner thigh, drawing that left knee, left foot over the right knee, reaching around, grabbing the chin. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, send the gaze over the left shoulder. Ready, exhale the gaze forward, release the leg, and release it back down. I'm going to draw the knees back up to the chest and allowing them to hit one side of the mat while the feet go the opposite. And coming back to our neutral spine, we're going to work on a little bit of stretching. I love to call this one, I don't call it, it's actually called in yoga, threading the needle. So taking a nice inhale here and exhale. I like to draw the left hand palm closer to the center of the mat. Inhale the right hand all the way up and out. Draw the navel to the spine. And then you exhale, sending that hand all the way through underneath the left arm, under the shoulder, turning a nice twist here. You can always use the left hand as a nice kickstand for the body. And if you'll notice for those of us who have challenges with our neck, maybe our spine, my head is actually not even touching the earth. If you'd like to reach the ear to the earth, that's beautiful. But that way there's no tension on the body. When you're ready, inhale the hand back up. Facing it back down. Drawing the right hand to the center of your mat. Inhale the left hand all the way up. Turn the gaze along with it. Or you can always keep the gaze down at your right palm. Whatever feels good for you. When you're ready, exhale that right left hand underneath and dropping to the maybe the ear or maybe not at all. When you're ready, come back in. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, tuck the toes and let's go back into our first down dog. Pressing the body away from the earth, sending the heels toward the earth. If that's within your practice today. If the heels aren't quite reaching, that's all right. When you're ready, look to the top of the mat. Bend the knees, come to the toes. Simply step the body forward. Inhale, root to rise, come to standing. Okay, pull back so I'm all the way in the frame. I had to work with the cypress roots because they're so, they're everywhere, right? They're so awesome. All right, so you can be at the top of your mat. I'm going to be at the back of my mat so you can see. All right. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. That music is beautiful. Inhale, reaching up. I see the sun. Exhale, forward fold, navel to spine. Allow the belly to rest in the thighs. Tuck in the hips. Elbows swing side to side. Allowing the fingertips to reach to earth. Send the right foot back by shifting the weight to the left. And then send the left foot to join. Holding our plank here, we're going to drop to our knee. Inhale, we're going to bring the right foot forward. So we just all we do is step it through. That's it, nothing fancy. And then walk the body up. Bring the torso up nice and tall, dropping the shoulders, keeping the fingertips reaching up. Exhaling them down to heart center, always with a smile. Inhale, lifting to the heart. As we exhale, we turn to the outside of our right knee, placing the tip of our left elbow, and then stacking our palms, squeezing the thighs together, keeping our balance. And our next inhale, come out of that. Forward fold. We can tuck the toes here, bending the right foot forward, and then we can simply bring the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, root to rise, come to standing. All the way up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we can half lift here, looking down, keeping the gaze down, nine degrees, keeping the neck nice and long. Exhale, fingertips down, shifting the weight to the right this time. Send the left foot back. 
dropping to the knee. Tuck and tuck the toe and just again we can oops, we're on the opposite this time. <laughs> I always say, don't take yourself too seriously. Alright, you gotta do your left foot, right? So walking up the body, allowing the shoulders just to reach down, shoulder blades down our spine. Reaching up nice and tall. Never take yourself too seriously. Exhale, hands down heart center. Inhale, lifting through the heart. Exhale, send the twist over to the left this time. Placing the tip of the elbow on the outside of that left knee. Stacking the palm. The gaze can be up or down. Your next inhale, reach from the up. And then forward fold. Tuck toe. Bend the left knee and bring the right foot to join. Bend the knees, sink the hips, come to standing, root to rise, pressing through the heel. Exhale, hands to heart center. It's just beautiful being outside. This is like what I live for. This is everything. I tell my dog to make All right. All right. We're going to come down. We're going to do a couple more things here, just kind of stretching the body. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Half moon lift here. Dropping the hands down here. We're going to take the left foot, send it back. Dropping down to the knee. Untucking the toes. And this time we're going to send that right foot forward. And lifting through the finger toe, excuse me, the toes, sending up toward the sky. You can sit back here for a nice hand stretch. Hamstring stretch. You can bring it forward here. It's also a good groin stretch if you're a runner and you're not much of a stretcher because a lot of runners are very bad about that. I am one of those people. Gives you a good stretch here. Inhale, sending it back. Maybe dropping the nose to the knee. Really opening up that space. And then forward one more time. Beautiful groin stretch here. Remember for modification, now I'm outside, I don't have a lot with me, I don't have any of my props with me. But you can always use a book, a rolled up towel, um, anything. If you need more cushion, for instance, you can always roll your mat into each other. All we're going to do is slide that leg back. I feel it now. And then slide the left foot forward. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So inhale. And then exhale, send the hips back. Opening up the belly of that hamstring. Inhale it forward. And then exhale, extending the knees toward the toes. Opening it back, growing, giving a beautiful stretch. Inhale and sending it back. And this time drawing the nose to the knee. Inhaling it. And then exhaling all the way forward. Now, if we like to, we can go back to the right side. Again, this is for stretching. I'm sitting down a long time. Um, I'm standing for a long time, but my body doesn't get a lot of movement throughout the day, so this is going to really help you. If we'd like to work on lizard, sliding that right foot forward, just like we did, and see if we can drop the knee to the outside of the mat. So it's not may feel complicated, but your body's capable of doing it. So if you'd like to, go ahead and draw that knee a little closer to the top of the mat and slide that left foot back. Super, super, super simple. If it's a little bit too much for you, then bend that knee, the back knee. Wherever you are, taking a nice inhale, putting the gaze up, lifting up the heart. Exhale, see if you can forward fold. I'm gonna get a little dirty because it has been raining here in the forest. See if you can forward fold, drop in the nose to me. Too much. We're talking about here. And if you're feeling pain or something on the body is talking to you, breathe into that space. If it's uncomfortable, then you need to come out of that pose. But if you can maintain that pose and it's not uncomfortable to you, then just breathe into that space, allowing some beautiful energy flow, some great oxygen flow into that space. Maybe it's a 
tendon or a joint. When you're ready, go ahead and inhale the gaze back up, bring the torso back up once more. And this is going to be a little tricky, so roll over to the inside, bring back up to the left knee, slide the right knee back, same thing on the other side. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to allow for a little bit of happiness here, so allow the knees to spread a little bit closer to the outer edges of the mat, bringing the toes together. Let's sink back for a beautiful child's pose. Just because, I mean, why not? I'm outside in the middle of four. If this is too much of a stretch for your shoulders, slide the hands alongside the length of the body and placing your palms facing upward. If you need more of a relief for the shoulders, stack the hands the low back. When you're ready, send the gaze up to the top of the mat. Do it on the other side. Slide that left foot forward. Walk the foot to the outer side of the right side of your mat and allow that knee to simply fall forward. Sliding that leg back. Again, I am in the forest, so I'm very cognizant of my surroundings. <laughs> Sliding that right leg back. Drawing the navel to the spine, lifting up through the heart. Maybe releasing the bend in the elbows. And when you're ready, inhale. And exhale. Send the torso forward fold over that left leg. Ready, inhale the gaze back up. And lifting the body, send that left leg back. Go back into your child's pose again. Knees apart, toes together, sink the hips back down, and go into your child's pose. Next, inhale, send the gaze up to the top of your mat and back to your neutral spine. Separate the toes, tuck them, and go back into your down dog by pushing yourself up away from the earth. Send the hips back, feel it deeply towards the earth. Send the gaze back. Inhale, and exhale. Taking a nice deep inhale, lift the top of the mat. Bend the knees, tense the toes, and step the body forward. The hips, walking the feet out to the outer sides of the mat, sink the hips down, and then inhale, go into your chair pose by lifting the heart, lifting the ribcage off the thighs, sinking the hips down a little deeper, drawing the navel to the spine, forward fold here. Inhale, root to rise, come to standing. All the way up, and exhale the hands back down to heart center. So we can stay here. I could probably stay here all day. But I haven't included this video. It is really a gorgeous place to be. I always like to finish my practice, and most practitioners do, by going into a seated pose. Um, even you can go to Shavasana, which is our final relaxation. You can also go into a yogi squat, whatever feels good for you. But I thank you for joining me on the mat today. I hope to bring some really cool locations to my videos. It just makes it more fun being outside. You get to really connect with the outside, the outdoors. So thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again. Namaste.